hi guys welcome to my channel today i'm going to show you how to fix the error 0x800 f1 while updating windows 10 to the latest version for that first step will be run update troubleshooter for that go to the start menu click on settings update and security click on troubleshoot additional troubleshooters click on windows update and run the troubleshooter once that is complete, restart your system and update Windows 2. If that doesn't work, then run these commands, which will be in the description for that type CMD. Run as administrator. Click on yes. Copy the first command. And then once that is 100% complete, run the second one. Type CMD, run it as uh, administrator, click on yes, and once that is complete, restart your computer and update Windows 10. If that is not working, then you can uh, restart Windows Update Services for that type services, right click. Find Windows Update, double click here, and make sure that the startup type is automatic. And if start uh, option is enabled, then make sure that you click on that and apply, and then click on OK. And then make a right click, and restart it. Once that is complete, then you can restart your computer and update the Windows 10. If that doesn't work, then disable firewall and antivirus program before updating. So for that, for to, uh, to disable the firewall, type firewall. Click on turn Windows Defender firewall on or off. And make sure that you click on turn off windows defender firewall and turn off this one and click on ok and for antivirus go to settings sorry go to setting update and security and windows security Click on Open Windows Security. Click on Virus and Trade Protection. Manage Settings. And turn off the Real Time Protection. Once that is complete, then after updating the Windows 10, enable the antivirus and firewall. If that doesn't work, then run these commands. Type CMD. Allow yes. Click on yes. Run the second one. Then the next one, all these will be in the description. Once that is complete, then restart your computer. If that doesn't work, then the next step will be reset Windows Update components. So run these commands, which will be in the description for that type CMD. And then run as administrator. Click on yes to allow. And then copy the command.
So we have to run all these commands. And just the last one. So once this will be complete, then you can restart your computer and update the Windows 10. If that doesn't work, then the next step will be use Windows 10 Update Assistant. So for that, click uh, use this link, which will be in the description. And click on update now. Run the exe file. Click on yes to allow. And which will help you to update the Windows 10. If nothing works, then the last step will be use media creation tool, the same link. And this time, click on download tool now and run the exe file. And after that, you will see this option. So click on accept and then upgrade this PC. Now will be selected and then click on next. And once this is 100% complete, then you will see this option ready to install and automatically the key personal files and apps will be selected. That will help you not to lose your data and click on inst install and that will help your PC to update the Windows 10. So that will work. So thank you so much for watching.